All right, so day's finally come. I'm actually going into my shed right now. This is why I've got a different angle. Um, obviously, my hair's up because I don't fancy doing it with my hair down. So give me a second, and I'll show you my shed. All righty, so give me a second. All right, getting all my lighting on. So this is my lovely shed. Now I'm hoping I've got a decent camera angle on this. It's the first time I've ever recorded in here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get this bad boy cut out. Now I've already gone back on, redrawn my center line. Uh, the lighting may not be the greatest in here. I literally only have battery powered lights. This is mainly because I'm in a rented house, so I'm not running power down to this shed and then having to remove it afterwards. So majority of the stuff I have is battery powered. Apart from this, so this is the Dremel motor saw, which, let me just tilt that down, because that's no use, you can't see it. <laughs> These are going to be, obviously, all unscripted. Just one second. There we go. So, this is my lovely Dremel motor saw. So you might hear me a bit better now. So, this is what I got specifically for cutting this out. And obviously all my templates and stuff, because it's a lot lower down, it's a lot easier for me to control now. I'm actually recording myself doing this for the first time on camera. I, I've never used this yet. Tested it, made sure it works properly. So, I'm also just gonna get these on. Now, yes, this may be a bit overkill wearing the gloves. I've got goggles, a respirator, and I've also got some headphones now what i've luckily managed to do is i've managed to connect myself through that bluetooth transmitter that i had the other day onto my laptop so i've actually got some tunes to listen to so we're in a second all right so i'm gonna press play on the music now so we're gonna get this going I'm going to pause this video and try that again. Right, well, my lesson learned there. As I say, first time I'm using this, I tried to cut off too much, tried to take a curve, and I ended up breaking the blade. I just noticed as well, the main reason why I took all my goggles and everything off was because the respirator was causing them to steam up, so I couldn't really see what I was cutting. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have my goggles on, considering that I broke that blade. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's what happened wasn't pretty again i am still learning how to use well literally using how learning how to use this i should say whilst on camera probably not a smart idea but i would set this thing going and then uh see what happens yeah i think i've messed up on a little bit i got a bit too yeah i went into my line rather than close to my line which is why i went a different way but didn't really work i'm just gonna turn my tunes down a little bit
That'll do. Right. Let's try this again. Hopefully I'm gonna screw up. Done it again. Well, that's another blade that he broke. All right, so fortunately I broke another blade because it got stuck in the area I was trying to cut. It's because I realized I was getting too close to my line. Uh, I will eventually get this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. It's all a learning curve for me for this. I've never used this before, so I'll take it. Like, I'm not annoyed at myself. I just don't want to mess up my uh, blank. Now, the little area where I've messed up here, I've realised I'm going to be putting a carve in it, so it's not too bad that being like that. I'm not really going to notice it. I knew from my first build I was going to make a mistake, though, so it's all good fun. <laughs> to where it should be. That's really high. Have I, I've inserted that the wrong way around. Well, I'm leaving this on camera because this is quite funny. <laughs> so trying to fit in my other blade, I ended up doing this the wrong way around. So I was just looking at it then, I'm like, why is it not cutting? And it turns out the I got it wrong. Oh well, close enough. Now these are really fiddly and annoying. I'm probably going to cut this maybe, as in cut this bit of the video out. Because trying to fit these in is a little bit awkward. to I'm down to two blades so I don't want to wreck those right definitely need a lot more practice with this one so I'm gonna pause the video here sorry for the stop and start motion of this but the joys of learning to how, how to use a new tool alrighty so I feel like I need to uh, do this a little bit on the uh, video so I definitely need a lot more practice with that moto saw. I really messed up. Uh, I thought it'd be easier, but uh, definitely not. So I always have a plan B anyway. I have my circular saw in, sorry, not my circular saw. Wait, no, I have my circular saw and my jigsaw in here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this thing up over in this far corner here where it's a little bit better lighting as well, so I can actually see what I'm doing. 
Now, what I'm going to be doing may not seem safe. However, this is exactly how I did the other one. And I always have my goggles on, my gloves on, and I've obviously got my ear protection. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to move everything around now, get it set up, and then hopefully get this thing cut out. Well, I just did a little test cut to uh, see how this is going to work, because my problem worry was the vibrations on this. I really should have done this the entire time. This is what I did for my practice build. So I did the exact same thing for the body blank. And I just got a lot more control. I thought that like pushing the material through the tool rather than the tool through the material would be better. But I think it's because I'm I'm not used to it. I mean, that's the state of my blades. Like I proper snapped him. So I've only got two left. So I'm going to practice a little bit more on some some of this leftover stuff to try and get the curves and everything around. But anyway, that's enough talking. I'm going to get my goggles and my headphones on. I'm going to get the next thing cut out. I'm determined. Let's do this. from my line a lot more because I've just I've got a little chunk taken out here but again probably gonna put a carb in that and I'm not really that fussed ah oh, so close there <laughs> so it looks like the headstock in here is probably not gonna be a thing I've definitely not got enough leftover material especially with how I'm cutting it out it was just a cool idea that I thought of but yeah the, the, the bulk of the thing is this wood. This is what matters. Um, yeah, let's get this side clamped up. Don't worry, I have more than two clamps. These are just the two that I use because I've got the plastic ends on here. Protects the wood a lot better. He says, but he's... Yeah, it's lucky wood. Right now, I've noticed that. So I just noticed there's a little bit of uh, stuff on it. I think it might be some leftover residue from whatever I did last time. Yeah, I know I should probably use a clamping call, but I ain't got any. Well, I say I ain't got any. They're all really ripped up and horrible. It's, uh, <laughs> it's leftover wood from doing this workshop. Alright. Change of plan. Gotcha. Word my then thinking we're gonna drop it. The only marks or anything that I get from these clamps isn't the end of the world because I'm gonna sand it obviously, so that'll yeah, that'll go, but so I'd like to protect it as much as I can. That's better. So I'm just thinking I'm just gonna get this bit done first. Mm, this is what I did last time, I kind of Picked one side, got that cut, and then went back to the other side. And I probably will be in the way for the majority of this, I do apologise.
gonna drop it eventually. that I've actually got a decent floor. If anything, this stuff's probably going to damage my floor, then I my floor would damage the wood, trust me. I don't believe the amount of times I've damaged the floor. <laughs> Alright, so I've just got this bit left to do. take care of the rest of it yeah fair enough I realize in hindsight probably should have you know had my decent face down considering no chip and tear outs happened outside but oh well right I'm gonna get this cleaned up a little bit and I will more than likely try and get some a bit routed so for some of you who have followed my social media from when I first started You'll know that uh, I made a lot of mess on a particular bill, which will be a future video for YouTube. Boy, am I glad I got a dust extractor. So whereas before, you used to have to sweep everything up. Now, nah. oh, it's great. I love this thing. So much better than having to do it by hand. All right, so that got everything cut out now off camera. What I've done is I've actually attached the template to the Zebrano wood and I've also attached it to this base that I use for my router sled. And I've just, I'm not going to route it all. Boy, I wish I listened to myself. I have just realized that these areas where I've got some wood to raise it, obviously it caused me some issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to route out this front section here just to see how it's going to work and everything and all that fun stuff. But the last time I used this, I really messed up. So I'm just going to double check myself. See, what I did was I unfortunately didn't position it right. And I ended up taking chunks out of my template. Now that was my bad. Yeah, that way. There, I was just uh, apparently spinning in the wrong way. So I'm trying to make it. Just take those off a minute for a bit. Gushed it already. No, that's pushing it down. Yeah, so what I did was I. Uh, didn't make sure that this was, there we go. Ah, well that's going to be a lot better. So the template I used prior to this, even though I'm not going to turn it on, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> so the template I had prior to this was only 6mm. Whereas this one being 9mm, this double bearing is exactly right. Well, that's enough talking. Let's do a quick pass. Also, the other reason why I'm not going to route it all out is it's getting a bit late. And I don't want to be a nuisance to my neighbours. So, I'll put my tunes on and get this routed out a little bit. <laughs>
people and freak some people out, I do apologise. But well, that worked really well. Ready. So, yep, that is perfect. And I managed to make sure that my center line was right, don't worry. So my plan is to obviously use this to route down air. Sorry, there's a template for the rest of the body so it all matches up and everything. So I'll draw around this once it's all done and go from there. I may end up using this as a template as well. I do have a longer bit, so that might work. We'll see, but I'm just trying to see. Do I have... I'm going to show you how good the masking tape and super glue trick is. I do not want to come off. It didn't take that long to route this time. In comparison to my other one. But I think I was just getting myself used to everything, so you know, that's still going to cause problems. So these are just offcuts of wood that I've got laying around from fixing my workshop. So I'm thinking if I can use these real quick, because I can get this all routed out today. Yeah, because that's going to work out well. Uh, Now, my original plan, I was going to do a thing that I probably shouldn't do, and I probably shouldn't say this on camera, but I don't really know what you to do. So, for a template that I had to make, uh, sorry, not a template, a pit guard I had to make for a build, I actually secured that face up as you see it now into this vice. Now, that obviously probably isn't the smartest thing to do, however, this vice is really secure. I mean, yeah, fair enough, my wet bench moved, but it's really secure. So I tried it, I did a little test thing, and it worked. So, but I didn't really feel that comfortable doing it with this. Because, like I say, I mean, I, I had this weird thing of like wanting to run the material through the tool rather than tool through the material, but clearly that's just not a need to worry about. Alrighty. Typical attack down the up. I think this is all I was going to do. <laughs> as many guitar builders out there will know, as soon as you start building something, you can see where it's going. You kind of don't want to finish until it's done. On the inside, don't anyway. So, might just be me. May just be me being crazy, but who cares? So what I learned, yes, fair enough, when I was routing, I was lighting the blade there, the cut is still wrong. But I made sure that I was completely out of the way. Now, I learned the the direction that everything went uh, properly when I was doing my practice build. So a lot of the chunks and everything that got taken out of that. But as I was going around this way, I think I stupidly went around this way. Now, obviously, the cut direction is that way. So that's why things went wrong. Yeah, great activator, by the way. So, here we go. So, I so have one there. I kind of need one in the middle here, but I don't want it too far off. So, we'll say about there. Now, that rowing. Really didn't take me that long, which is why I'm just quickly trying to get this done. As I say, I don't want to be a nuisance to my neighbours. So if I can get this done in the next like five minutes, if that, I'm laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you won't be laughing, mate. Fingers as well. I'm at work tomorrow, so I probably should give this up for day, but I really can't. Now that I've got like start the process properly, this is so fun. So I am definitely going to leave in that mistake and mix up with the uh, motor saw for this video. My final super edit, um, I'm already sort of thinking of ideas for that. So because I use my phone and I've got an iPhone, the easiest solution was the program I use. I mentioned it a couple of times in my post. I use iMovie. Now, 
yeah, there's a lot better editing software out there. But it was free, so I kind of just went, you yeah, know, why not? And I've actually gotten used to it. And because I, these videos are recorded in 1080, 60 FPS, they took up a lot of space. And a standard iCloud storage space is 5 gig. Which, when you're doing YouTube, ain't that much. So for a while, I was um, trying to get the um, the extended storage, so you could get 50 gig storage for like 79p or something daft. So it was a no-brainer, but I, I kept trying, and it just didn't want to work for me. So, and then all of a sudden, when I, I felt like all hope was lost because I was trying to use something else and it didn't really work. And then finally, so I just finally managed to get the uh, pay for the 50 gig. So it finally works. So I think the easiest option would be put the glove on that side this time. Yeah, let's finish that down. Uh, yeah, so the final super edit, I won't be talking as much like I have now. Um, that one it will just be like sped up and stuff like that. But this is like the first build video I've really done, so I'm probably gonna play around editing a little bit. You know, for the areas where I'm like not talking, I'll, I'll probably end up just speeding that bit up. But we shall see. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get this thing glued on. It ain't even, but as long as it doesn't, nah, bugger, I had a bad feeling that might happen. Yeah, because I'm going to be putting pressure on that side, oh well, well that side's stuck. <laughs> Okay, so I had to completely redo the uh, super glue and masking tape, so let's try and get this glue on as quick as I can. However, there comes the rest of the wrapping. <laughs> Patch that bit. Carry on, Scott. Just patch it. 
So, as you've probably seen there, chunks just come off at the end. Probably shouldn't have routed that bit in reality, but I should be able to patch it. for that right i've managed to find those pieces that have just chipped off there yeah if you took your own advice that probably wouldn't have happened so look at all the disorders in it right i'm going to stop the round here because i'm just going to keep going when i should really stop so that's all for now so before i uh, carry on doing this i've done a lot of stuff off camera one of the things i've done is fix the two chunks that came out as you'll have seen, I did pause, take the mick out of myself, but I really should have stopped while I was ahead. Uh, in reality, looking at this, I should have left these corners whilst it was on this body blank because it would have been a lot more supported. But what can you do? Right, so this is the final sign off for this video. This is actually day three now of this uh, build process. Really happy with how things are going, even though I messed up. Now, I wasn't planning on coming in here, um, hence why the hair's different, the face is different, the t-shirt's different. I'm meant to be going to work today, uh, I don't actually start till 3. But I decided to just pop in here, see how this repair's holding up. So the minute I'm using my front-facing camera, just so I can see what I'm doing properly, which is why the angle's a little bit different, and I'm probably going to struggle showing you what I did. So, here it is. That's the, you may see my dog in the background. Right. So... Couldn't leave him in the house on his own blessing. So this is the area which tore off and I've managed to glue it back up, use some uh, wood glue and the sawdust left over from cutting this out to patch it. This was clamped up because this luckily was able to go to the cross of this side and got a clamp on fine. This little bit, however, hang on, I'll tell you what, let's, let's switch this side. Uh, there we go. Sorry, very rarely use my front face camera. So this is the little area where I patched it. There we go. This bit did not want to clamp up. As you can see, there's not really a space for it to go on. Luckily, I was able to get it all on. It is now pretty much, there it is. So it is pretty much right now. Obviously, I've still got a lot of uh, sanding and reshaping to do, but I actually started doing the surface routing yesterday on my body blank, so that will be in the next video. I'm gonna use this as a sign off for now because this actual process of doing this top is done and I want to get this video up because I'm really excited about it. So as always my social links are down in the description below feel free to follow me on there if you like the video give it a thumbs up possibly subscribe to the channel. Yes I've made a lot of mistakes yes some of the stuff I did probably wasn't the safest but that's why I did my practice build in the first place. Now this video is very very long I talked a lot through it but I've managed to edit it so that a lot of the work is sped up and stuff like that. So hopefully it's not too bad. The next video shouldn't have a lot of talking. It is purely going to be me doing the work sped up with some music in the background. So that's all for me in this one. So I'll see you in the next.